What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to copy the structural walls, columns, beams, beam systems, and the slab from level 2 to level 3 and then the roof. And then after that, we are going to edit the slab on both level, on level 3 and then the roof, to complete the structure. Okay, because as you can see here, obviously, we only have our structure up to level 2. So we're going to do also our 03 floor and then the roof. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this wall here. Click. And then after that, right click and then let's select, select all instances visible in view. So you select that one. And then it will also select the area here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to extend this up to the roof level. So from the instance properties, we're going to change here the top constraint. So I click the drop down arrow and then select here roof level. Okay, up to roof and then apply. And there you go. So it's now extended. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do Let's open up the 02 floor. And then we will be using here a window selection. And then after that, we're going to use filter. So let's use a window selection like that. Window selection. Like that. And then after that, so we are going to use the filter tool to filter our selection. So we do not want to copy the grids the shop opening and then walls okay and then the rest these are the elements that i would like to copy okay and then after that select okay all right so after you select now the elements that you like to copy so let's now select here copy to clipboard or you can type or you can press Control c copy to clipboard and then the paste drop down so you can now select here, align two selected levels. Just click that. And then we're going to copy that on 03 floor. And then hold control to include the roof to the selection. So you click the roof so that you have the 03 and then floor. Okay. Right. And then after that, select OK. Okay, so it's still uh, loading. After that, we are going to check the 3D view. So it's still processing here. You can see the status bar because my laptop is quite slow. There you go. So it's now finished. Let's go check it out in the 3D view. And there you have it. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to edit the slab on our 03 and then roof level. Okay. So obviously, we do not want this this shape here on our 03 floor and then on our roof floor so we are going to remove this shape and then on our roof level so we are going to close this area here we don't want to have an opening there and this area here so we are going to edit the roof so let's edit first the 03 floor double click 03 floor and then after that we are going to select the slab so let's click the slab and then edit boundary right on our edit boundary we do not need these lines here so I'm gonna use window selection and then delete and then these two lines we're going to connect that using trim extent to corner you can type TR to connect that two line right there you go for our 03 floor just select finish edit mode and then we will be going to open now the 03 are uh, the roof level okay so let's open up the roof level and let's edit the slab so let's click the slab again edit boundary okay and then let's select those lines and then delete that and then again, we will be using trim extend to corner. Let's click the two lines that we like to connect. There you go. 
and then after that like what i have said in this area we're gonna close that so i'm gonna select modify to terminate my trim tool and then i'm going to select these two lines here and then delete and then let's use trim extend to corner let's pick that connect let's do that as well on our southeast area so modify to terminate the tool and then use window selection to select the two lines and then delete then after that trim extend to corner tool and then you click the two lines that you would like to connect and there you have it then after that finish edit mode okay then just click outside and then let's open up the 3d view zoom out and there you go let's select the home button here from the view cube and there you have it so we just extended the structure all the way to our roof by simply using copy paste and then editing the boundary so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day